Georgia's Media Day is finally upon us. Today we heard from Bulldogs Chris Conley, Todd Gurley, Rameek Wilson, and Coach Richt, and they definitely lived up to that hype. Let's hear about what the dogs have been up to this summer and what we can expect from them next season. Uh, opening with Clemson, we're thankful to be between the hedges and uh, uh, you know let our Georgia fans help us uh, in regard to that game and then an open date and then going to South Carolina. And of course, last time we were there, it was a it was pretty good beat down, really. Um, so, you know, we've got to make sure we're prepared for that type of atmosphere. Their fans do a wonderful job as well. So, but yeah, two, uh, obviously, two of the best teams in the country, uh, both from the state of South Carolina. It's going to be a great challenge for us. I think that we are, as Georgia, uh, we can't wait to get another jersey and be able to hit somebody different. And uh, it's been a long time since we played uh, some real football. And I think that's one of the motivating forces behind this offseason and the reason that I can grind like I, like I am uh, is just because of the fact that uh, I have one more season to play football in, in the red and black, and uh, it motivates me. Um, last year we lost to um, Clemson by three or four points, but... Um, you know, this year we get the chance to redeem ourselves, and um, you know they come to Athens, and um, you know it's the first game, so a lot of people are pumped up about that. And then um, I think we have a bye week, and then we go on to play um, South Carolina, and that's always a good game. You know, that's that's kind of like bragging rights. You know, a lot of guys from Georgia are on the South, South Carolina team, so you know the whole state of Georgia and South Carolina just you know get excited for that. So if we get to come out those two games and win the state, I mean, that would be great for us. Todd is the best running back in the nation, and you ask anybody that, and we all agree with that. He works hard. He gives us a great look in practice. He's, he's probably the fastest running back I know and strongest and biggest, so he gives us a great look in practice to help us prepare, and he backs it up too, so he's, he's everything. The, the wide receivers are looking great. Uh, the group looks deep. We have those guys who are injured back. Uh, Justin Scott Wesley, Malcolm Mitchell, and Michael Bennett looking well. Uh, and they're running well as well. Uh, Malcolm looks explosive. Uh, he's doing a great job. He's working out. He's running with the team. He's doing seven on sevens. You know, we trained, We definitely trained a lot different this summer as far as the things we do in the weight room. But mostly was um, a lot of maintenance work, just going in there in the training room for 10 to 15 minutes, just trying to, you know, work on your knees, balance, and, and little stuff like that, just the core work. Attitude-wise, Coach Pruitt, he, uh, he's all about business. He's very hard to please. I mean, we try our best, very hard to please. He's not the type of coach that will scream in your face and yell at you when you mess up. He, he always coaches you up. He teaches you what you did wrong, and that's what we need. We have a tremendous amount of camaraderie on that staff, togetherness, unity, uh, highly competent men, highly competitive men, uh, and guys that, that truly care about our players and good, you know, great family men. Everything I'm looking for in a coach, these guys are it, and uh, I've never been more excited about a staff. Uh, there are a lot of changes that uh, happened and a lot of people who were at Georgia that are not there anymore. And uh, I think it was kind of a statement to say, you know, we're going to do things the Georgia way. And if that's not the way that you want to do them, then you won't be here. Uh, we love those guys. Uh, but in order for this team to move forward, uh, some changes had to be made. And uh, the team really has bought into that and they realize what we need to do to get where we want to go. And uh, the thing that we can control is only ourselves. And uh, moving forward, the young guys need to realize that and the older guys have realized it and they need to lead uh, with that in mind. Everybody's bought in and we're ready.